So first we are going to get Kawaii Physics from GitHub. I had some notes on my website, feel free to take a look. We are going to download Kawaii Physics from its release page. Download the version according to your Unreal Engine project. I have downloaded it, in my case it's the version 5.2. Open the zip file and extract the plugins folder into the root folder of your Unreal project. After we open our project, Kawaii Physics should be added and enabled. Shinya's hair by default is using clothing simulation. You can see it's moving when I play simulation in the viewport. The ponytail doesn't look good though using the clothing simulation, so we are going to change it. I select the character and hit Ctrl B to find it in the content browser. Open the blueprint. This modular character is built with a blueprint. The hair is a child component of the head. This is the non-dynamic hair. As you see, it uses clothing for simulation. We set the clothing to none to turn off clothing simulation. Now when we play the animation in the viewport, the hair is not moving. Ah, uh, by the way, I forgot to show you. That Kawaii Physics plugin is already loaded when we copy the plugin to our project earlier. Now we change the skeletal mesh to use the dynamic version. Type DYN hair 2. And you should find the dynamic version of the hair. This is where it's located. After we change the mesh to dynamic, compile the blueprint to see how it works. The hair is not moving. Because we haven't set it up to use Kawaii Physics. At the Dynamic Hair 2 folder, open up the animation blueprint. The default graph just copy the pose from its parent, which is the head in this case. Right click and search for Kawaii Physics. And then plug it to the output. Select the Kawaii Physics node and set which bone we want to simulate. Each Kawaii Physics node represents one joint chain. We selected the SC01 which is the joint chain on the front, right. Compile the blueprint and see how it works. Nothing happens. This is because in the case of the character blueprint that I am using, the parent blueprint is using set leader pose component. We don't want the hair component to use leader pose when we use Kawaii Physics. So here we disable it. By creating a set leader pose component node and not connect anything to the new leader pose component. Leave it unconnected. So now it means we are not using leader pose for the hair. Compile, and it should works now. Although it's moving too much. We can tone down the movement using alpha. Set it to 0.1 and see how it looks. Alright. It looks better I guess. Let's test this on the ponytail. Set the joint chain to ponytail. Oh, actually, I want it to start from a bit lower on the chain. Let's start from the third joint. Oh no! Why it's flicking like that? I find that if I increase the target frame rate, it solves the problem. The hair doesn't flick anymore. I think that setting could bring some performance hits, but it's fine for my demo. Here I would like to share my setup to save you some time of setting up the Kawaii Physics node. I have put the node setup in my GitHub gist. 
These are the blueprint setup for all the dynamic hairs as well as the jacket. You can select all the text and copy it. Then paste it into the animation blueprint. Control V to paste. I notice it took a long time when I first pasted. It. it is much faster when I paste it the second time though. Alright, looking good. Now I am going to show you how to add collision to the hair. Right click on content browser. Select miscellaneous. Select data asset. Choose Kawaii physics limit data asset. Give it a meaningful name. Open the data asset. We can add three kinds of collision mesh. It can be a sphere, a capsule or a plane. I mostly use capsules. Select all the Kawaii physics nodes to apply the setting all at once. Point limits data asset to the asset we created earlier. Compile to see the collision meshes. We haven't add any yet. So I will add one capsule. And set it to sit on the head bone. As soon as I type head and press enter, the collision mesh appears. We can modify the capsule live without having to recompile. You can adjust the capsule to your liking. I am doing it very roughly here just as an example. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions on the comments below.